Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? It's Rusty Champagne here with you, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We are here once again in the wonderful world of kebab chefs, continuing with our uh, campaign where we had just gotten the recent new update that gave us a, a brand new deep fryer and took away all of the decor in our department, in our apartment, not our department, our apartment. So now all we have in our apartment is a cot, but we have all these other things that we have available for us, including this fan, these two fancy um, counters. So if we go here and if we go to our inventory, uh, we have these fancy counters. So we've got these va uh, fancy vintage corner kitchen countertops and a regular vintage kitchen countertop. So those are kind of nice. And then we have this gourmet reward that we got for uh, having Juan be satisfied with what we did in our uh, with our challenge. So that was pretty nice, too. We also took care of a few uh, uh, a few achievements. So we got this one, the Unlock 5 Recipes. So that gives us another award, it looks like. We also completed a flawless day without losing any customers. That's good. And we got these other ones as well that are, have been completed. So there we go. I don't think we got anything else that gives us any bonuses. It does not look like it. So let us leave the dreary drabness of our apartment and make our way over to the Rusty Spoon. And let's see what we can do now, now that we've finished huh. that up. So we're going to come in here. We're going to close the door. We're going to turn on the lights. And we are going to take a look at the gourmets here. So now we have new gourmets. So we have Tony, who wants simple kebabs, and he wants schnitzel, and he wants chicken soup. And so those, he is the next one up the list. And having defeated one, we now have a, a stand mixer, a donor cooker, or a donor cooker, or it may be something even different than that, and also a meat grinder. So those things we have, and now we can look and see whether or not we can get any of these other things to start working on Tony. So if we look here, we can actually do simple kebabs now. So we might go here. We'll unlock the simple kebabs, and I'm going to take a look at this one. So we're going to pull this in. Actually, I'm just going to look at it first. Okay, so we need a ribeye slice. Um, we need to grind meat using the meat grinder. We're going to need some tail fat, I believe. And then we need some salt, some black pepper. Um, and then we're going to also need some garlic and some green peppers. So let's take a look and see what we've got left over in the fridge from our last adventure. So I think that we've got some green peppers. We have a green pepper, but we don't have any ribeyes. And we don't have any garlic or anything like that. So, and I, uh, and whatever the tail fat is, I don't think we have any of that. And if we look in here, so what do we have in here? We, we do have some coal in here. And I've got some coal there, so we need some, uh, but we do need some kindling. So let's, let's go and do some shopping. So we're going to start here in the butcher shop. And let's see what we have here. So, okay, so there's ribeyes. And, uh, oh, and there's tail fat. Okay, so that's something new. I've never actually heard of that before, but let's get a couple of those. And let's uh, get all that taken care of. There we go. Uh, I closed the door on myself. That's not good. So <laughs> now we're good. Uh, let's close the door there. And let's run this in and put this into the fridge. So I'm going to actually open it here. And then we're going to open up the fridge, put these pieces in. So we've got a ribeye. We've got another ribeye. We've got some tail fats which is going to go there, and some more tail fat, which is going to go right there. Okay, and then we need some garlic and some green peppers. So we're going to run across here. We're going to grab some garlic, some green peppers. So we're going to grab a couple of each of those. So let's grab, uh, let's grab a few. So three garlic, and I've already got a green pepper. Let's grab a couple of green peppers. And we'll throw this all in here. This is all cheap, thankfully. We'll close the door for you. Thank you, sir. And we will run back across and drop this off over here. And so we'll open this up again, open the fridge, and we'll pull these things out and just kind of set them up here and put them all here. So right about there. And a couple of green peppers, which I've got a couple others right down there. Okay, perfect. Now we need some, uh, what do we need? Uh, oh, yeah, we need some more coal and we need some more kindling. So let's do that. So we're going to run in here. We're going to grab some more charcoal. 
and uh, we need a couple of kindling. And I think that's it. So there we go. Two kindling, one charcoal. Is there anything else in here? So that's just the sunflower oil. All this is still locked. This is all still locked. These are all the different spices, and we don't hit, we don't need anything else there. Um, tomato paste, which is uh, available, but we don't have a use for it yet, at least not that we know of. And then we got all these other things here, just pots and bowls and things along that line. And, uh, yeah, so that's about all so far. So let's get this bought. Let's close your door for you as well. And there we go. All right. Let's try making some kebabs. Let's see what this is going to be all about. I think this is the only thing I'm going to put on the menu because I am I want to make sure that I've got this right before I do anything. So we're going to open up this coal. I'm going to set it right over here. And then we got our kindling bags. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So we're going to open up our, get, grab our kindling bags, set them there. And one more, which we'll just set right there. There we go. Now, I'm not sure how much coal is in there, and I don't know if I trust it. So I'm going to put more coal in here because I just don't know how much is in there. And we're going to get that filled. We're going to fill this back up with kindling. And we're just going to leave that for now. I'm not going to worry about starting it up. Uh, but we are going to get this done. So we're going to start working on this recipe. So if we go back in here into the menu... All right, so we're going to take the simple kebab, we're going to put it on the menu, and I'm going to pin it, so that way we can take a look at what we need to do in order to make this thing. So we need some ribeye. Um, I'm going to need some tail fat, it looks like. Oh, and, oh, and that's right, I need, uh, oh, I need a, what else do I need here? I need a mixing bowl. Oh, I need a meat grinder. Okay, so we got to do that too. So we're going to go in here to the warehouse, and I'm going to throw in my, my fancy vintage countertop. And I'm going to place that. And I'm going to put it right here on the end. Um, it's going to look weird. But, hey, we're, 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 just, we're going for a little vintage look. Just one corner of vintage. And now we're going to go here. We're going to go to uh, stations. We're going to get the mixer or the meat grinder. We're going to buy that. I'm going to set that right over here on our vintage, <laughs> on our vintage uh, countertop. And then we're going to hit escape to get rid of that. And I think that's all we need. Um, I don't think we need anything else there. So what is that? Oh, a hanging skewer rack. Oh, that might be nice to get one of these days, a hanging skewer rack. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. We'll take care of that another time because we're down to $3,800. Okay, so uh, we're going to need a mixing bowl. We're going to put a mixing bowl on there. We're going to... All right, so we're going to go over here. We're going to get some ribeyes. So we need a ribeye slice. So let's just get one ribeye slice. And we're going to take the other one, and we're going to put it back in the fridge. So you go there. And then we're going to put this into here. There we go. Is that going to just keep working? It is. Okay. Then we're going to get some tail fat. There we go. So is that four? How many pieces is it? That's four tail fat pieces. So we're going to add that into there. Okay. And then we need some salt, some black pepper. So we're going to get some salt. One, two, three. Okay. And then some black pepper. And we're going to put that in there. One, two, three. Okay. So we got that. So then we need a skewer. And we're going to attach a skewer from the mixing bowl. Okay. So we're going to do this. Put all that on there. Okay. So I'm going to set this back here for now. And then we need some garlic and some green pepper. So we're going to go in here. We're going to grab some garlic. We're going to grab some green pepper. One of each of those. Set those there. Um, I'm also going to get a plate. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to move it over to this side. So I'm going to set that right there. I should set it more right there. Okay. I'm also going to get a plate. Uh, we're going to grab this plate here. Set it right there so that we're ready. Let's get this lit. Let's take the skewer, put it on here. Um, can we just put it on top of there? Is that Would that work? I guess so. So, oh yeah, we'll just set that there. Okay, that looks like it works. Um, we can grab the garlic and we can grab the green pepper and set those up there. All right, so how's this all cooking? I think we can actually take that and put it in there. I think it's what I heard one time. So we're going to flip that. Yeah, someone had given me that tip. So, yeah, we're just going to keep an eye on both of these. So this all ought to cook 
pretty close to the same time now, which is good. That's really what we want. So we're going to wait and see which of these finishes up first. So that's actually going to be done. I'm going to set that there for now. I'm going to grab the garlic, put it over there. I'm going to grab the green pepper, put it right on the plate. Let's uh, give it a little rotate. I'm going to slice up the garlic. There we go. So we got some garlic slices. We're going to put that on the plate as well. Got our skewer, which I think I can set that on the plate. I think. And we're going to try that. We're going to see what we got. And we're going to serve that up. The simple kebab. Hey, that's pretty darn good for our attempt at it. I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. So let's close that up. And I'm going to need to make more of that for sure. But let's get the restaurant open. The restaurant is open for your convenience. And I think that we're only going to have four, uh, four of those. So let's get some more made right away. Oh, I've, got, I've already got some of that. So I just need more tail fat. Okay, so let's get this open. Let's get some more tail fat going. And we can throw that. Oh, it's already in there. I don't need that. Um, it's already in the mix. That's right. So, yeah, I forgot. I already put it in the mix. So we can just, we've got tail fat pieces, so that's good. And now I can get a another skewer and get some of that, put that on there, set that there. We're going to grab some garlic and some another green pepper. Mm. And we will have all this ready for once we get close to being out of that. So, all right, so we've got one serving mm. left. Okay, and these guys are... Eating it all up there. Absolutely loving it. That is good. All right, we're down to one serving, so let's get all this on here. So we're going to set that there. Going to set that there. Going to set that there. Going to grab another plate. We'll grab that one this time. And there we go. You are ready to go. Let's get you taken care of. Grab your plate. Thank you very much. Let's get you taken care of. Grab your plate. Thank you very much. And let's get this flipped over in a hurry. Whoop. Put back on. There we go. And then these are going to be ready pretty soon as well. So we're going to see if we can get all this done in pretty good fashion. So there's that. The green pepper. We're going to put that right on the plate. The uh, skewer is ready. We're going to put that on the plate. We're going to take this, slice it up. There we go. All the slices. Going to put that back in the rack. That on the plate. It doesn't look as good as the other one did, but that's going to be fine. Uh, serve it up. Um, overcooked. Yeah, I was a little bit long on that. That's my bad. Mm. So, But you seem like you like it, so that's the important mm. part. All right. Level up on the restaurant. Excellent. We're up to level four. So I think we can get someone once we get to level ten. I think we can actually start hiring some employees. But it's going to be a while before we can do that because right now we're just still simple old level fours for the moment. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be a bit before we can get to that. So, all right, I think that we've got a couple people that are probably done eating. Yes, you are done. Let's take care of you. And let's take care of you. So can we grab both of your plates? Or can we only grab one at a, at a time? No, we can only grab one at a time. So I was hoping we could grab both, and we hmm. cannot. So we've got one serving left. Is that going to be enough, or am I going to have to get more? And that would be a shame if I did, because I don't have any more tail fat pieces. So I might need to run out and get more tail fat after this gentleman is done eating, um, because I think that we might be short. And, yeah, we'll see. So you are good. Let's get you cleaned up. I might run over real quick and get some tail fat, because I've got, yep, he's coming in. So let's run over. Oh, I got tail fat. I don't need to do that. That's right. I keep forgetting. I don't need tail fat. I, I've got everything I need to do this. Um, so I can uh, just get another skewer. Can I pick this up? Uh, let's see. Oh, that's there's nothing there. So where are my skewers? So where do my skewers go when I'm done? Um, are they not there? Uh, what happens to them? Um, because they should be there. Uh, let's see. If I do this, can, there's nothing to remove. So where do my skewers go? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I would think that I get them back, but I don't know what happens to them. So, yeah, we might have to investigate that at some point because my skewers 
are not back at my station. And, uh, yeah, uh, I would think that I would get those back after all the servings are done. So maybe I need to buy more skewers. I, I'm not sure. I I did not take that part into account. So I think that gentleman is just going to have to leave sad and depressed because I don't have another skewer to put any food on. Uh, the day is over. I'm sorry about that, sir. Uh, I don't know what happened to the skewers. I'm sure I will find them come morning. So we're going to close up the shop. And, yeah, we're going to see if whether or not in the morning these skewers magically reappear here because I'm not sure what happened to them. Now, I think I can take this meat and I think I can put it into the fridge and have that available. I'm going to hope for that. So we're going to close that up. And I'm going to just leave that till morning. Uh, let's turn off the radio. And, yeah, let, we're going to see how that goes. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. We're going to find out. So we're going to close up the shop. Oh, it's closed. There we go. Going to turn off the lights. And we're going to call it a night here at the Rusty Spoon. Head on back to our house that has nothing in it. And we're going to ponder our life choices on our very, very uncomfortable cot. So that is now a level two recipe. So that's good. And if we look now, we made $1,300. We had some expenses. We served eight dishes. And um, so this must be over the past three days, I'm guessing. So we had seven the first day, 10 the second day, and eight the third is what I'm guessing that means. I still don't know what this automat earnings is all about. So one of these days, I'll figure that part out. I don't know when I will. All right. So we're going to get here into day number five. So day number five, if we take a look at our menu, did we unlock anything? We got these things in the warehouse. So now in the warehouse, oh, let me see, can I, let's close the tab. Let's hit G. Let's open this back up again. So if we take a look here, we don't have anything new in the way of tables. Uh, we got a bunch of counters. We got another sink, but we may have had all that before. This looks like, it looks like it's a bunch of decor items, a um, bunch of plants, a bunch of lighting. That's for when we really want to get fun. Say it. Right now, I'm not all that worried about it. Um, this is stations. Okay. I, so I should get a skewer rack at some point. These are all surfaces. So, okay. So it doesn't look like there's anything too much that's new there and staff. Yeah. I cannot hire staff until level 10. So I'm a ways away from that. No biggie. All right. So let us make our way back to the restaurant and get out of this very depressing apartment that we're in. And let's go over here. And let's get another day started. So once again, let's see. Uh, if we open this up and we turn on the lights, and if we close this, did our skewers reappear? Uh, I, I, I'm i not sure wh what happened to our skewers. That is very confusing because I would expect that our skewers would not, like, just be gone. But if I look at this, um, there's nothing here on the menu. So, I, uh, yeah, and the last thing that was in here was simple kebabs. So, I don't know. So, if we hit H for help, uh, it doesn't really, uh, I don't want to get too far into this. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm going to close that out. So, I don't know. Some of our skewers are gone. And maybe that was because I needed actually to have sticks. And so, if that's the case, if we go here, because I got to go back to the market anyway. So let's go back to the market. Let me see if there's something that I was missing. Because I feel like there was something I was missing. So, yeah, because my skewers are gone. So I got to get some skewers. So let's get some skewers. And were there sticks? I, I feel like there should have been sticks for one of these things, and I'm just not seeing them. Um, or wonder, would they have been in the green grocer? Would they have been in the... They're not here. Would they have been, where would they possibly have been? So we're going to close that up. Let's take a look around and see, because I'm sure there's something I'm missing. I have no doubt that there's something I'm missing. Maybe they're over at the, uh, at the uh, green grocer. Or not at the green grocer. Maybe they're at the butcher shop. I don't know. Let's huh. take a look over here. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, if we go here, this is all locked. This is all locked. So that's all of our chicken. 
Yep, so nothing there. So let's close this up. I, I'm sure that there's something blatantly obvious that I'm missing. And it will be very, very hilarious when it gets pointed out to me. So let's take a look over here. Um, no, this is all veggies. I see nothing that's a stick. So it's weird that it talks about putting it on a stick. And I have not found anything that's a stick. So I'm going ch to check here one more time. Let's see. What do we got over there? That's for sale. Um, there's nothing there. That's just ATMs. So let's check one final time and just make sure that there's absolutely nothing that I'm missing. Because I know that in the recipe they talk about putting it on a stick, and I just see nothing about sticks here. So skewers, uh, plates, trays, ketchup, mayonnaise, and again, no mustard. I, <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, and so, yeah, we got stuff there. I might have to look that up at some point in time and see if I can figure out what's going on there uh, because at this point I'm not quite sure. So I might have to take a look and see if there's something I can figure out with that. But for now, I think I'll just leave that off the menu and maybe we'll put some other stuff on the menu. So let's go back to the menu because, uh, yeah, that, that, that definitely shows, um, yeah, Detached skewer into stick. And I don't know where you get the stick from. So you need a grill for this recipe. Uh, so, yeah, I just... It doesn't talk anything about sticks. That's so weird. So we're going we're gonna to do some other things on the, on the menu. And I'm going to see if I can figure that out some other time. Because I don't want to waste too much time on that. So maybe today we'll do some... Uh, we'll do some more chicken breast. So we're going to do some chicken breast. We'll put that on there. And maybe I'll do some chicken legs. So we'll do a little bit of each of those just to try and get both of those up. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. And um, we'll go from there. So, oh, we do have other things that we have available. But nothing that, oh, maybe this is everything. Yeah, this is the whole list of everything. So let's see. So for chicken breast, I need, uh, I do actually have a chicken breast in here. I probably need one more. I do have some chicken legs in here. So we can take those. We'll set them up here. And now we'll set those back down here. Uh, I will need probably another chicken breast, a, another tomato, another green pepper, and another red pepper. So let's get all that. And I think another potato. Hmm. So we need another chicken breast uh, and maybe a couple more chicken legs. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Get all that. Put all that together. Close your door for you. Thank you very much. We're going to run this back. So today is going to be chicken day in the store. So we're going to set this up. And we're going to open this, empty it out. So we got more chicken legs and more. So we're going to put those all there. And then we got another chicken breast, which we will set right up there, right next to the ribeye. There we go. All right. So now I need a... T oh, I do have a couple of potatoes. So I need a uh, tomato, a red pepper, and a green pepper. Let's run across and grab those. So a tomato, a red pepper, and a green pepper. So red pepper, a tomato, and a green pepper. And there we go. Oh, I got to pay for it. Um, that normally helps. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I placed my order and then walked away. So, all right, let's close you up. And is there anything over here? No, that's just the pub. Okay. There's something I'm definitely missing. And I, I will eventually figure it out. No big deal. Let's open this back up, close it back up, and let's get this unloaded into the fridge. So let's open the fridge. Let's set this. Um, it won't let you set it on the ground. That's interesting. I guess I can set it right here on the edge. I can't. Okay. So red pepper and tomato and green pepper. There we go. So right there. All right. And then we need, uh, so we're going to go into our menu again. And I'm going to pin this. So this is the one that's the, uh, oh, and the, okay, so this is everything. So it's also got the, um, the French fries as well. I should have gone simpler than this. So, all right, so we got the salt. Oh, and then that means I need the sunflower oil. Okay, so I need the sunflower oil as well. Back to the market. So many things you got to plan for in this thing. Okay. So a sunflower oil, grab that, take you over here. There we go. Get that bought. 
Um, I should just do simple things. <laughs> this is how restaurants fail, is when you start doing all these things that are super complicated. All right. So we're going to set that here, and we're going to open that up. We're going to set that down, put it into here. There we go. And what was in here? Oh, our skewers. That's right. So here's our skewers that we don't need anymore because I'm not going to be making that recipe again until I can figure out exactly what the stick part is all about. Okay, so we were going to do the um, we were going to do the uh, chicken breast first. So we're going to do that. I'm going to need the chicken breast. So we're going to set that there. This is going to be salt and chili pepper. So we're going to get some salt, a one, a two, a three, and a chili pepper, which is going to be a one, a two, a three. And then we need uh, we'll put some of our charcoal in here. Get that in there, and that's not enough, so we're going to get some more charcoal and put that in there. So we're going to grab that. Um, I'm going to try and grab that. Uh, apparently not, so let's. can we grab some more? That's not working. Let's try the kindling and see if that'll work. Uh, can we light that now? Apparently we can. Okay, I bet you this is going to run out before we're done with it. All right, we're going to turn that on. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Uh, now we need to slice up the potato. So let's get the potato sliced. Oh, let's actually slice the potato. There we go. It will also slice the chicken while it's at it. Okay, now I need to put that in the rack. I need to take the basket out, set the basket there, put that in the basket. And, and when we make the fries, there's nothing I need to do with the fries. Yeah, nothing I need to do with that. Okay, so then I just need a green pepper and a red pepper. Okay, so green pepper and red pepper, and then I think we're good to go. And then a plate. So there we go. That and a plate. Set the plate there. Okay, let's see if we can get this all timed out pretty well. Uh, we're going to set that there. Going to get this lit. There we go. Going to set the green pepper and red pepper on the, on the coals. Did I lose the green pepper? I... I think I may... No, it's in there. It is in there. I'm going to take this, put it in here. There we go. So now that's going. The chicken breast is going. We're going to flip this momentarily. There we go. And now we got a red pepper in here. we got a green pepper that's buried in there. Oh, no. we got to, I guess, set that back down. Okay, now that's going. Uh, we got some french fries that are over here. So this might all time out kind of decently. There's the chicken breast. There's the red pepper. It's in there somewhere. There we go. Uh, there's the french fries. We're going to just set those on the plate. And the green pepper. And I think we'll be good. I think that's all we need. So we're going to just wait for this green pepper to finish. It will be done momentarily. There we go. Everything's waiting for you. No pressure. And I'm going to take that. Put it under the serving cloche. And there we go. Chicken breast. Very nice. Okay, that is awesome. And now we're going to go over here and we're going to do the same thing with the chicken legs. So the chicken legs, if we go to the menu, I think that this was just, uh, yeah, this is just chicken legs and tomatoes. And what do we need to do? So when we make this, this is salt and chili pepper. So just chili, okay, I think I can handle that. So we need two chicken legs, one and two, and a tomato. So a tomato there. All right, there we go. All the salts, so uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then we need some chili pepper. We're going to take that and uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Perfect. We're going to put both of these on <coughs> the grill. We're going to take the tomato and put it right into the coals. There we go. That will work. I can turn. I'll leave that on for now. Okay, we're going to flip the chicken legs momentarily. So in just a second, there we go. That's ready. And that's ready. And then the tomato is just about ready as well. So that's good. This all should pretty well time out. I should grab another plate. So let's grab that plate. We're going to set that there. We're going to get this chicken leg, grab it, put it on the plate. Get that one, put it on the plate. Grab the tomato. Bring it over here. Get all kinds of nice slices of tomato. Perfect. And then we're going to put that back in the rack. Put that there. 
Put the tomato right there, and boom. I think we got our two meals. Excellent. There we go. And that one is also pretty well done. Nice. Now let's see how it's going to go. The restaurant is open for your convenience. Let's see what's going to get ordered more. So we will get another potato ready. So I'm getting another potato ready. And get these sliced up. Because these can go back in the fridge just like that. So we're going to do that. Put these back in the fridge just in case we need them. I'm going to get the chicken legs all, uh, all seasoned up. Because we can do that as well. And that won't waste any time. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we'll get the uh, the chili pepper. And go one, two, three. And one, two, three. And they are done. So let's get them taken care of. All right. Thank you very much for coming. Hope you enjoyed your food. And you are ready to go as well. Thank you very much for coming. And I hope you enjoyed your food. Um, and let's see. So we can put these back in the fridge because they are ready to go. And then I'll have to do the same thing with the chicken breast. Mm. Okay. And you are... Okay, we're doing pretty good. Oh, we need more of the chicken legs. Mm. All right, so let's get more of the chicken legs going. That took no time at all. So that was good. Got a chicken leg. Going to put it on here. Got another chicken leg. We're Going to put it on here. Going to grab a tomato. Our other tomato, put it on here. There we go. And we're good there. You are ready to be done. Thank you very much. Pick that up. Bring it on over. Got to wash some plates. Oh, I shouldn't be washing plates. I got to flip the chicken. The chicken is overcooking. And flip it and flip it. R, R. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. And, yeah, you are going to grab some chicken. Perfect. That is great. Mm. All right. You are good. Thank you very much. And let's get that. The tomato. Put it over here. Grab another fresh plate and set you there. we got to grab this. It's going to be a little overcooked, so it's not going to be nearly as good as the last ones were. <clears throat> but that's okay. Get our knife. Get some fresh slices. Put that in the rack. Put that on the plate right there. And there we go. Uh, serve that up. Mm. Some chicken legs. All is good. Yeah, it's overcooked. I knew it. I, I'm aware. Uh, but, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to cook it that much. It just kind of happened. So let's get a few dishes washed off. Give them a quick zhuzh. And get these in here. Because we do need to get these kind of cleaned up. Just a few of them at least. And let's see. Uh, what does that gentleman want? I did not see. All right, but we do have another person. Level five. Okay, you are good. Thank you very much. Let's take your plate, put it in there, um, and take your plate, put it in there. We got to clean up. Get some little scrubby action going here. Um, please tell me that you want the chicken legs. Um, please tell me that you want that and not the chicken breast. Oh, you want chicken breast, don't you? I knew it. Uh, that was going to be that way. Murphy's Law. So... That's okay. We'll wait and see if this person wants chicken legs. Um, hopefully they do. That would be very nice of them if they did. So, all right, we're going to clean up some more plates. What do you want? Uh, we got two people that want chicken breast. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I can do this real quick. Um, I can grab a red pepper, a green pepper. You're down there. Uh, there you are. There, all right. Let's grab our chicken. And one, two, three. And then the red pepper, or chili pepper, one, two, three. And we'll put that on there, and we'll get that going. Grab the red pepper and the green pepper. Throw those in there. Grab these fries. Throw them into the fryer. There we go. And you are done. So let's get you taken care of. Thank you. And we got to flip this chicken, see if we can do it. Uh, hopefully we can do all this fast enough. We're going to probably run out of time, but we're certainly going to give it a college effort and see what we did, see what we get. All right, uh, we're just, uh, I'm getting it done for you here, sir. Uh, oh, no, that's not done. Uh, let's flip that over. Um, put that on there, flip it over, and grab this, put it on the plate. Grab this, put it on the plate. Grab these, put them on the plate. Grab that, put it on the plate. And let's see if we can put this out here really, really quickly. 
No. <laughs> oh, what was I missing? I don't know what I was missing there. Um, whatever it was, no big deal. There we go. We definitely gave it a whirl, and we came up just a little bit short. That's fine. It was it was a good effort, so what can you do? We're going to close that up. Going to wash these plates off. Get all this taken care of. Yeah, this would be a lot easier if you had multiplayer. Definitely a lot easier with multiplayer. Or at least when you have servers that can go out and help with all that stuff. Because when you're just trying to do it as a, as a one-person show, it definitely gets to be a lot. So you got to really kind of pick and choose what you want to do, it feels like, as you're going through this. So we're going <clears> to <throat> get all these plates cleaned up. And then I think we will call that another day here in the restaurant. And we'll see what, to, what tomorrow brings. All right, so we're going to get rid of these plates because we don't want to leave the food out overnight because that will cause problems with the health inspector, and we don't want problems with the health inspector. He's a very nice guy, and we'd rather not have him not on our side. So let's do that. Let's do this. Get this cleaned up, and there we go. I think we got all of our plates. We do. That is good to go. I've got some random uh, mustard or some random mayonnaise and some random ketchup all sitting around. We're up to $6,000, so that's good. And we're going to close up the shop. We're going to hit the lights. We're going to go back over here. We're going to close the door, head on back to our little abode that only has a cot, and go to sleep. And that is now, okay, the chicken legs are now up to level two. And the chicken breast went up a bit, but not enough to level it up. So we made $1,500. That's good. We had no expenses. Okay. So that's nice. And we are had automat earnings of 661 Again, whatever that might mean. I'm not quite sure. All right, let's do one more day here and let's see what we get. If we take a look around, um, if we look at our menu, oh man, all kinds of things in the warehouse because we're up to level five. So we got all kinds of options. We got all kinds of tables. Um, we got probably all kinds of new surfaces. We got all, yeah, so that's furniture. Um, yeah, so all kinds of opportunities for things that uh, we can use to kind of decorate things up. But once again, we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, I think the big goal is just trying to get to level 10 so we can get some staff to help us out here. Uh, if we look at the menu, did we get anything new in the menu? Uh, it does not look like it. So, uh, yeah, we, we got this tomato soup, but I don't know what it takes to unlock it. And then we have, um, we might need to get uh, maybe a higher mastery score. I'm not quite sure. I don't know what it takes to to make different things happen here. So we shall see. Um, what do we want to do today? Again, I don't want to do the chicken kebab, the kebabs, because I don't know what the sticks are. And I don't want to do anything until I figure that out. Maybe we can do some more chicken breast, because that is a four-star dish. So I'm just going to keep it simple, and I'm just going to do some chicken breast today. We're just going to make it nice and easy, because doing two things feels like it's a lot. So we're going to go in here. Going to turn on the lights. We're going to close the door, and we're going to see what we need. So I don't have any chicken breasts, so I need some chicken breasts, some green peppers, some red peppers, and we need some. I think that's it, and a couple of potatoes. So we're going to grab three chicken breasts, uh, three green peppers, three red peppers, and three potatoes, hmm. and we're just going to have that be our thing. Everyone is scoffing at us as we walk down the street. Um, I wanted to check on the counters to make sure that there were no sticks on the counters. There are not. So, all right, three chicken breasts. We're going to do that. Put that in there. Run these back to the kitchen. And then we're going to set this here. And we're going to set that right here on the edge. We're going to take these out, set them right down there. And there we go. So there's our chicken. Oh, I also need some kindling and charcoal because I don't have any of that. So three green peppers, three red peppers, three potatoes, and some sunflower oil, which is also over at that store. So three green peppers, which are red, three red peppers, which are green, and three potatoes, which are potatoes. 
There we go. All that. Going to take all that. Uh, did I close your door? No. Now we did. Perfect. So now we're going to run this back here. I wonder if I need to bring, like, my own sticks. <laughs> I don't know what it is. All right. Uh, we're going to set this up here, and we're going to grab our potatoes and our green peppers and our red peppers. Set all those out there. And we got our green peppers, which we'll set there. I have the longest reach known to mankind. And the potatoes, which will go there. And there we go. So there's all that. So now I got to run back over to here. And we need some. We need a couple of kindling, a couple of coal, and uh, sunflower oil. So we'll do that. Get all that paid for. You don't have any sticks either. Okay. So I, I'm in the desperate search for sticks. We'll, we'll eventually figure out what that means, um, even if I need to try it solo. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it all figured out. Or someone might be able to leave me a comment on it. Because, again, I'm sure it's something simple, and I just don't know what it is. So we're going to set this here. And we're going to open this up and just set these things kind of right here right next to it so a couple of coal here and the this which we're going to put that right into the deep fryer and now let's get all of our stuff ready to go so i'm going to get all this prepped right from the jump because this is probably what i should have done the entire time is just get all of our potatoes ready and put that in there and then i'm just going to get all this ready so that way when it comes time to do this all i got to do is put it into the different areas so we're going to get all of our potatoes sliced. Going to set that knife there. Going to set those there. Grab the other potato. Look at me. I'm learning. <laughs> going to get the potato and get the slices again. There we go. Going to set that there. And now we got that. So now we got our chicken breast. We got to, I think we can grab all of our chicken breasts at the same time. So yeah, let's do that. So let's grab all of our chicken breasts. Put those all out here. And I could have done the same thing with the potatoes while I was thinking about it. All right, so we got that. And we're going to go over here and all the salts. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then we need the chili pepper, which we're going to do that as well. Uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Perfect. Those are all ready to go. So now I can take these, throw these all in here. They are all set. And all I'm going to need is my green peppers and my red peppers when the time comes. So I can grab these, put those in there. Oh, I got to set those. I got to grab the basket first. So let's grab the basket, set the basket down. We're going to turn that on, put those in there. Going to get our coal, put it in here. Grab some kindling and put it in here. Start this up. And then we're going to grab our chicken breast. We're going to put it on here. Going to grab a green pepper or a red pepper rather. And I'm, I'm just going to set that on there. And I'm going to grab the green pepper and I'm going to set it on there. And then I'm going to take this, put it into here. Going to grab a plate. Uh, we're going to go with that plate again, the nice oval plate, set that right there, close that up, flip that over, and yeah, I feel like this is all going to cook about the same time. So I don't know if I gain much by putting that in there. All right, so the chicken breast is almost done, the peppers are almost done, and the fries are almost done. Okay, a red pepper, done. And chicken breast is done. And the green pepper is done. And the fries are uh, done. So we're going to, whoa, um, grab the fries and set that down. Uh, it's <laughs> it's going haywire. All right, let's set that there. Uh, let's just grab the fries. They're going to be extra crispy. That is fine. All right, that's going to go. Oh, I didn't put it on the menu. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's put it on the menu. Uh, menu, uh, chicken breast. There we go. And close that. And now put it under the cloche. There we go. Uh, sir. And so, despite all that, we ended up pretty good. So that's that was rather fortunate on our side. Okay. Let's get the restaurant open for your convenience. And let's get another set of this ready. So we're going to just go right here. 
Going to grab the red pepper. Going to set it right here on the side. Going to grab the green pepper that's red and the red pepper that's green. Going to grab our... Um, grab our... What am I trying to say? Grab our chicken. Grab our potatoes. Mm -hmm. Set all those there. Grab our plates. Going to set that here. Just like that. And once we're down to a couple of servings down, we're going to put all that together. Because I don't think I can have the same thing under both cloches. I think I remember trying that last time and it did not work. So we're going to get you taken care of. Thank you for stopping by and having our chicken breast with french fries. And we got another person coming in and another one after that. So once we got those two in, then I think we, yeah, here we go. Now here are all the people. So I'm going to take all this and I'm going to put it on now. So that's going to go in. That's going to go in. That's going to go on. And that's going to go on. There we go. Now I think we're going to be in good shape. Mm. So we're going to get ready for this. Flip over the chicken. There we go. And then we're going to wait on the green peppers. Kind of taking a look at these people. You are ready to go. Thank mm. you very much. We'll take your plate. Get you squared away. Run over here. And we are going to... Okay, those are getting ready. We've got the uh, chicken. Going to take that off. We're going to take the fries out. We're going to take the peppers, put them in the middle this time. And perfect. There we go. Just in time. That is done. Back in we go. And that one was really good. So I'm, I'm kind of proud of that one. Okay. There we go. Thank you very much. And you are also ready. Thank you very much. Let's get some of this cleaned up. And I think we might be able to do one more set of this and make it all work. So I, I feel like we've got a groove going on here. So it, it's amazing what happens when you prepare everything ahead of time. A little mise en place makes all the difference. Yes, that is a thing. <laughs> oh, got garbage because people always are being trashy. I don't know why. Uh, we probably need a little bit more. Uh, what do we have? One serving of it left there? Yeah, we do. And he's going to have it. So we're going to grab right here, right now. Grab this, put it on, and then we're going to uh, grab the fries, put them in, and we're going to grab the green pepper, put it on, and the red pepper, and put it on. There we go. And then we're going to grab a plate and grab that one again because we really like it. Set that there, flip that, and we're going to take care of these people. Thank you so much for waiting. Thank you so much for waiting. Let's get your plates, and you are all done. Let's grab your plates, and you are all done. And do we have anyone else here? Did I make an extra serving for nothing? Oh, no, the day's not over yet. Someone else should show up here. Oh, man, everything's overheating. Uh, let's grab that, uh, put that on the plates, and grab that. That goes on. Grab that. That goes on. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit overcooked, a little bit crispy. That's fine. Yeah, we had one more. I knew it. I knew we'd have one more. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. You get the end of the day mm. stuff. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it should have been better. Uh, we definitely tried. We just got a little bit rushed. So my bad on that one. So, all right, get all that cleaned up. Got all the plates that need to be cleaned. Uh, the day is now over, and you are all finished. Thank you very much for coming over to the Rusty Spoon and for leaving a mess underneath your chair. Get that cleaned up. There we go. And, oh, man, and we got all, the, all this stuff that ends up on the floor. I'm telling you, I don't understand. Like two piles of it. <laughs> it's just all the things. Um, at some point, I should probably put more tables in here. I will probably look into that pretty soon. All right, so this plate is good. All the plates. I didn't have any music on. <laughs> so much for ambiance. We have none of that here. And uh, we're going to get the rest of these plates cleaned up. We got one more to go, it looks like. Yeah, one more. And we will be good. There we go. And that is it. We will turn off the fryer. That will go out by itself. We've got all the skewers. Everything looks good. Oh, yeah, we do have to clean this up. That's right. So we got to remove this. And then clean this plate up. That's right. So let's do that. Wash this plate. And we will be 
good to go. So there we are. We're going to close up the shop. We're going to turn up the lights. Going to head back here and make our way back to our apartment that has nothing but a cot <laughs> and go back to sleep. So, and then we'll see what it looks like in the morning. There we go. Oh, that way got all the way back up to level four. How nice is that? Um, got rid of a bunch of dirt in our restaurant, so that's good. Um, so, yeah, that recipe is level four. We're making more money off of it. And, yeah, that was a good day. A whole bunch of money. I don't know what our daily expenses are all about, but these are still the mysteries of the restaurant in the town called the Rusty Spoon. Oh, we do out now we do have a new recipe. So we have a recipe here for the tomato soup. But for now, we're just gonna make our way here to the center of town, kind of take a look around at everything in the daylight, because that's not something that we have normally done. And we're gonna get a take a nice little look here at our fancy sign here at our little fancy kebab restaurant here in town. But that is going to be all for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you considered giving the channel a subscribe. But until next time, thank you very much for always being a part of all of my silliness. I'm Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.